Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I, I didn't upload yesterday because I was busy with like live stuff, which is why this also today is really late. So yeah, but I didn't miss the Black Widow trailer. This is the final trailer. Now I'm gonna be honest, the first trailer, it was cool. It did get me ener like energized because that's just like, the Marvel's pretty good, good with their trailers, right? But I felt like it was like a backhanded compliment to Black Widow fans because after all this time, especially after what happened with Endgame, we finally get a Black Widow movie after the fact that takes place, I believe, before Infinity War. So, to me, it, it kind of feels like a, oh, we, you know, we're finally making a movie for her, but she's, you know, axed. And that, that to me, that's why I, I wasn't too happy about this film. But it is what it is, and we're getting Taskmaster, so it still looks cool. So, I, but the first trailer was kind of generic and really didn't show much that got me like crazy hype. So, hopefully, with this final trailer before the movie even comes out, it gets me hype. So, the link will be down in the description, and let's go. I tell people my sister moved out west. You're a science teacher. Your husband, he renovates houses. You're thinking about moving, but you're going to wait until the interest rates go down. That's not my story. <laughs> okay, so uh, I like that there's character interaction. I'm, I'm also a big fan of Florence Pugh. She's from Midsommar, or I Midsummer. Mistakes. Oh. And a lot of Ooh, okay. Taskmaster looks dope. Okay, Captain America Shield. He's called Science Taskmaster. He controls the Red Room. They're manipulated. Fully conscious, but no choices. I should have come back for you. How many others are there? Enough. Oh, so it's like, oh, okay, I'm, I like this, like, hunt. They're all on, like, on a hunt for her. To where it all started. So they never do that to anyone again. That's definitely the jacket she wore in Infinity we War. We fight with you. You won't win. I've always found it best. Oh, Black Panther! Spider-Man! Okay, you got a plan or shall I just stay duck and cover? My plan was to drive us away. Where your plan sucks. Hawkeye. Okay. At some point we all have to choose. Between what the world wants you to be. Thunderbolt Ross, he was... Dude, okay. <laughs> now I'm excited. I'm done running. Okay. That looks fucking cool. Okay. Here's what's gonna happen. Natasha, don't slouch. I'm not slouching. You're going to get a big hunch. Mm, listen to your mother. Oh my god, this- Up, up, listen. All right, enough. All of you. I didn't say anything. That's not fair. Okay, that looks fun. You know what, I'll, I'll give them, like I said earlier, but I really do like the stuff that they did show in the trailer, uh, particularly Taskmaster. That's what got me really excited from this trailer. The family dynamic seems cool and seems interesting. I just hope it's not too crazily like, you know, uh, like one liner ish, like, you know, cracking too many jokes here and there. Um, but it seems that the, the character uh, dynamic and chemistry between all of them seem really good. Again, I'm a big fan of Florence Pugh. I loved her. And um, I don't know how you say Midsommar. It's spelled with an O or Midsummer, but they say Midsummer in the movie. So I'm just gonna say Midsummer. Uh, if you haven't seen that, it's on Amazon Prime. Uh, it's the same guy that directed uh, uh, Hereditary. So if you want to check out a weird, awesome movie check out Midsommar and Hereditary but Florence Pugh is really great in that movie and I'm excited that she's getting a, a big blockbuster film to like you know pop out even more um but yeah overall like the things that really got me excited was Taskmaster we haven't heard him talk um which uh you know I I guess I hope they give him character that's my one thing like Taskmaster is dope like again seeing him do freaking T'Challa stuff when he, when he, yeah, when he, he literally did, he popped out the claws. Uh, he has cap shield. He even did the thing where he picked up the shield from the floor. Um, and it seems like his fight style here, I was saying Spider-Man. Let me see. I would say that's like Spider-Man mixed with uh, Black Panther, 
But then again, I mean, that could just be, you know, T'Challa's like uh, a superhero landing, if you would, right? Um, but it's just, I do kind of find it funny, like, he's just, like, watching MCU, like, clips. <laughs> he's just, like, he's, like, in his own, like, you know, research factory or whatever, like, looking at MCU clips, learning how to fight for or all these styles. So, um, but overall, I am genuinely excited to, like, see this now. Like I said, uh, it feels, it, it will always feel weird that this movie's coming out post-Endgame. Um, so it's, it's always going to feel weird for me, but it is what it is. We're still getting a cool Black Widow movie. Uh, I hope it's just different. It seems really cool. I like the idea of like the red room and like the hunt of getting like all these people after one or like, you know, her and her sister and her family. So, uh, I just hope the movie isn't too cluttered with like Taskmaster and then the red room and like all, all this crazy stuff. Like it feels like this movie could be two movies, but put into one with all big does like this. Because, like, the Red Room has always been a thing where it felt like a big idea, even though it's, like, very, like, you know, especially for Natasha, it, it feels like there's two big movies in here, especially with all, like, the zombie-like Red Room people following her, and, like, you know, then you have the main one, Taskmaster, and then you have Thunderbolt Ross, like, it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff happening in this movie, um, but, yeah, all the, again, all the characters from what we see, we only really see characters from the family, so... It looks fun. It looks like a good family, like, uh, type of drama. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with her sister. Like, everyone's pretty much saying that her sister is pretty much going to bite it. But I don't know. Because we we do know that the jacket that her sister has in this movie is the one that... Uh, or at least it looks very similar to the one she wears in uh, Infinity War. And she's blonde in Infinity War, so... Maybe, like, you know, Remembrance? I don't know. But that's just how I think. Uh, overall, excited to see it. It's a Marvel movie. It's, of course, going to have, like, some, you know, it's going to be good, right? Uh, not, all, not all Marvel movies are good, but I think this one has the potential to be pretty decent to good because I, I like how different it feels. Like, the, the again, the whole Red Room stuff going to Natasha's character because we really haven't gotten much of her character. The most we got from her, again, she's always been a sidekick in the movie, so... It is what it is there. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe for your show video if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll continue probably Castlevania tomorrow and then, you know, finish off the series probably by the end of the week. So, yeah, see you guys then. Bye, guys.